Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna close my eyes, okay? Alright. So this is me close my eyes. Wait, I think yeah. And go. Oh Hopefully I get something worth it, okay? I wanna get something worth it. <gasps> hey! I'm Hazus. And this is footage of a small streamer called Ninja Kiwi69. And there is a good chance you'll recognize it because it's kind of famous for being the first ever video of someone unboxing a souvenir Dragon Law, all the way back in November 2015. And he got a pretty nice skin. Factory New, I'm not quite sure who owns it these days, although it's probably HFB, the legendary Emirati collector, although I couldn't figure it out for certain, but it's a good introduction to today's video, which is gonna try and track down every souvenir Dragon Law unboxing that's ever been caught on tape. Now, before I go any further, I just want to quickly mention that this video is sponsored by Skinport, the easy to use skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash, more about them later. Now, a little primer for people who are unfamiliar with souvenir dragon laws, these are your odds of unboxing one from a cobblestone, wait sorry let me zoom in, okay, these are your odds of unboxing one from a cobblestone case, this little thing here, it, that's, that's what you're after, one in 3906 odds. And Given cobblestone packages are $400 each these days, that means you'd need to spend $1.56 million to unbox one of them. Now, pretty much all the souvenir dragon laws were unboxed years ago when packages were only $25, but that still meant it cost $98,000 to unbox one, so it still wasn't cheap. And as you might imagine, this meant only a handful of unboxings were ever caught on video. Ninja Kiwi's video was recorded over a year after the souvenir Dragon Law was first released. And not only are these videos very rare, some of them aren't exactly what they seem to be either. Some of them are imposters, and we're gonna be exposing some of them. Now, a lot of YouTubers have tried to unbox souvenir Dragon Laws, and for many of them, it's just been a complete disaster. Anomaly, McSkillet, Prodigy, all of them have burned thousands of dollars and just ended up with garbage. But for some people, it's paid off. Like this guy. Now, I don't want to undermine Sparkle's video too much. I'm not going to play the whole thing. There is a link to it on the screen right now. I'm going to limit the footage I play to just one second, enough so you can savor the flavor. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not a low energy moment when you unbox one of these things, and Sparkle's is actually restrained compared to some people. But basically, he unboxed this thing, and just like with Ninja Kiwi, it's factory new. And also, just like with Ninja Kiwi, I think it's also ended up in the hands of HFB for a $30,000 price tag. But Sparkles was not the only YouTuber to hit one of these things. About nine months after Sparkles got that Dragon Law, Watch Games TV was also unboxing cobblestone cases. And as you can probably tell from his very energetic reaction, he also landed himself a souvenir Dragon Law, <laughs> which again, was another factory new skin. That's like three out of three. However, unlike the last two skins, HFB didn't end up buying this one. Instead, this guy called Seven bought it for $35,000. And it's changed hands a bunch of times since then. This is its current owner. He apparently paid 60 grand for it, which is probably about standard for one of these things now, because you know, China. Now, English language YouTubers don't have a monopoly on Dragon Law unboxings. During 2017, a Spanish YouTuber called Black had a very similar breakthrough. <coughs> now, unfortunately, this skin was only minimal wear, so I guess that breaks the streak. Although, at only just 0.072, he came bloody close to getting a factory new skin as well. Now, he's currently sitting in the hands of this Chinese collector because that's just where skins end up nowadays. But hey, at least he's got all these anime girls to keep him company on the profile. Now, Given there's so many Chinese guys buying souvenir dragon laws nowadays, I think it's only fitting that at least one Chinese guy actually managed to unbox one too. <laughs> and as far as I can tell, that is literally the original unedited footage too. <laughs> Come on guys, uh, this bloke puts you to shame when it comes to reactions and he isn't even on the screen. Now, I believe this is the guy who originally unboxed it, although it's currently in the hands of this Chinese guy instead. You know, that profile is pretty much what you'd expect. And this unboxing happened in December 2017, which made it the most recent souvenir Dragon Law unboxing to be caught on tape. Well, until we get to 2020. Anyway, when Shaboy stepped up to the plate to deliver for the community, and 
This is such a great unboxing because your boy actually had to get up and answer the door as he opened the case, so he was actually away from the computer when he got the Dragon Law. A crazy coincidence, right? Although, I, d to be honest, this video does seem like there's something off of it. I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but something seems wrong. Almost like your boy is trolling me. I, I, I don't know. What I do know is that there is some fantastic trolling going on when it comes to fake Dragon Lore unboxings. So let's have a look at a couple of our imposter unboxings. Firstly, there's this one by Bertak KX. Hmm, very convincing. I particularly like the lack of stickers on the gun. But what's great about this video is that there is a channel called Chrono Ninja that primarily uploads stream clip compilations, and someone sent him this unboxing to try and trick him. And it worked. Now, I don't want to go in too hard on this guy because mistakes happen to all of us, and I mean, after something like this, there is no way you'd fall for the same trick twice, right? Wait, what's that noise? I do have to ask. Why would you make a fake unboxing like this in the first place? I mean, you're not going to be fooling anyone with completely the wrong stickers on the gun, but unfortunately the original owner has taken down his channel, so I don't have a way of asking him. However, there is one fake unboxing I did come across where I think the motives make a bit more sense. Now, this video is 100% fake. I'm not going to do a deep dive, but basically it's made by clipping bits of Sparkle's Dragon Lore unboxing, and it might actually be the most annoying unboxing I've ever watched in my life. My souvenir, uh, my souvenir couple slim case here. Really excited to open this. Hopefully, I get Dragon Lore. If not, I don't really care. It's a souvenir case. Didn't buy it. I actually caught it from a dwarf. So here we go. Let's go. Okay. So what am I gonna get? 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 Oh my God! Dragon Lore! Dragon Lore! Dragon Thanks, Pro Pancake. That reaction just gave me cancer. Now, I also want to give a quick honourable mention to Kyle Broby. He didn't get a video of his souvenir Dragon Lore unboxing, but he did get some nice screenshots, real screenshots. By the way, this, this guy isn't a faker. This is a real unboxing, although naturally the skin is now owned by a Chinese guy as well. But anyway, that's pretty much all the souvenir Dragon Lore unboxings that are out there, and in total, that leaves us with five real Dragon Lore unboxings that were caught on video. And it might not sound like much, but think about it this way. There is approximately 150 souvenir Dragon Laws that are out there, so streamers and YouTubers have managed to unbox one in 30 of them, which isn't a bad effort, particularly when you consider that this means streamers and YouTubers have probably spent about $500,000 to do that. And Unless Val brings back Cobblestone and keeps the collection at some point in the future, there might not ever be another souvenir Dragon Lore unboxing on video, or possibly even at all. I mean, Zipple recently did a stream where he opened up 82 Cobblestone packages, which these days cost $24,000 to do. And he didn't get a Dragon Lore, although in fairness he got this knight, which is pretty cool, but still, no Dragon Lore, because the odds were just so stacked against him that even with $24,000 of packages, he still had stuff or chance of getting one. And honestly, I think the game could really do with another super rare souvenir skin for people to try and unbox. It doesn't have to be the Dragon Lore, in fact I'd like something new, but at the end of the day, this is a skin with a legacy, and honestly, I just really want to make another video full of stuff like this. <laughs> Please, Gaben? <laughs> but pretty please? Um, anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Massively appreciated. And a big thank you to Skinport for sponsoring this channel. Skinport, formerly known as Skin Bay, it's the same site. All that's changed is the name, is a skins marketplace, and cash out site. It's safe, convenient, easy to use. It's got a super competitive sales fee of 5% if you put skinport.com in your username, a really, really low fee if you're looking to sell your skins. If you're looking to buy instead, it's got a ton of great deals, well over 100,000 CSGO skins listed, as well as easy to use deposit and withdrawal options. Awesome site, check it out, 
Link is in the description. Anyway, that's it from me. As always, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.